This is the screencast on API LinkedIn based on custom rules. I am Sunet Samarasinghe, software engineer at WSO2. API LinkedIn helps to ensure that an API is well designed, easy to use and follows industry best practices. There are standard guidelines for writing API definitions such as Open API specification which describes the structure of an API. Apart from the standard guidelines, one might want to enforce a set of customized rules to maintain the API definitions up to a corporate level standard. For an example, the email addresses in an API definitions can be limited only to corporate email addresses. I'll be showing how to do this in the demonstration. The basic steps to enforce a new custom rules is to first formulate the rules based on the requirement of the organization. Let's say the API admin wants to allow only corporate email addresses in their APIs. In this case, we will be limiting the emails ending with wso2.com using regular expression matching. To do so, we introduce a new rule named wso2 email rule to check whether the email address at info.contact.email path contains any matches to this regex pattern. Only if it does not match, the violation of the custom rule will be listed as an error with the provider description. There are four different severity levels for custom rules. Errors, warnings, information and hints. We can enforce custom rules per tenant. For that, we can log in to admin portal and navigate to advanced configurations under settings. Then apply rule definition inside the linter custom rules configuration and save. After the rule is added, there are two places where we can observe the linter results in the publisher portal. First one, when importing or creating an API from URL or from an API definition file. Second, when editing the API definition in publisher portal. Then, after observing the linter results, the developer can correct the definition to meet the company specific standards. WSO2 API Manager uses Stoplight Spectral Linter for linting API definitions. Therefore, when formulating a custom rule, we have to abide with the Stoplight Spectral Linter rules specifications that you can access through this link. Let's get a better understanding of the process using an example. I have logged into the publisher portal now. Let's go ahead and create the PSAShack API by clicking on Deploy Sample API. Once it is done, under API Configurations, let's go to API Definition. If you click Edit here, the API Editor drawer will pop up. On the right hand side of the editor, you can see the API Lint Summary as you can see, currently there are no errors and only 10 warnings related to this API definition. Let's see what happens when we enforce our new email rule. To do that, let's go to the admin portal. On the sidebar, under the settings section, we can access the advanced configurations here. Let's copy the new email rule and add it here like this and hit save. Now let's go back to the publisher portal and check the linter results. As you can see, now there is one error message from our new email rule. If you click on it, it will direct us to that particular line of code and we can fix the error by changing the email to wso2.com. And as you can see, now the error is gone. Likewise, we can filter the results by clicking on each severity level and fix them. If we are happy with the API definition, we can go ahead and update the content, then hit save. That's the end of the demonstration. Thank you.